Hey there, so this is Melissa and I wanted to film sort of a quick haul video for you. I just got home from Walmart and I bought plenty of groceries as you can see behind me. And um, I made an effort to buy really healthy things. My husband and I try to eat, you know, just natural whole foods for the most part. We don't buy fake food and we're on a journey to lose some weight and just be healthy as you might know if you've been watching some of my videos so you know before I got pregnant I was pretty satisfied with my fitness level and my weight and my health overall so now I have to lose about 20 25 pounds to be where I was before the pregnancy and I'm trying to use this vlog to kind of help myself stay motivated Last week, or I think it was actually the week before, I was a little naughty and I was eating way too much candy. I bought some candy for my husband's birthday and I should have known better. I just should not have purchased those big old bags of candy <laughs> to begin with. But anyway, I bought a little piñata, you might have seen it, for his birthday and then I bought like two bags of candy because they were on sale. Long story short, I ended up just eating like overdoing it and I gained a few pounds how do I say this when I weighed myself this morning it seemed like I had gained four pounds in the past two weeks because I hadn't weighed myself last week and so that was pretty discouraging and I'm pretty sure it's because I guess I was just eating way too much candy and some of it might be water weight because of you know the whole part of my cycle that I'm at right now so I really need to just get it together and stay focused. Halloween time is always a hard time for me because if I make the mistake to buy candy, I just eat it. And even though I'm exercising, I still gained four pounds. So it could be a give and take between maybe building some muscle weight, maybe water retention, but I'm sure some of that is because of the candy that I was eating too. So this week I'm trying to keep myself motivated to stay in check and I'm going to show you the haul uh, I, I needed to go to the market anyway and so I made an effort to just really not buy any naughty food. So I'm going to take everything out of the bags and organize it on the counter and I'll show you what I got. Okay so I just organized everything on the counter behind me and I'm going to quickly go through what I've got and what I use it for. Sometimes I like watching this kind of stuff. It can be helpful to get ideas of things to eat. Um, let's see, I we buy this huge case of eggs because we eat a lot of eggs every single morning. I like to buy the Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, but that can get kind of expensive over time, especially if you eat them every day. And it's also just healthier overall to make it yourself. You limit some of the sodium and the preservatives. So with that being said, I buy, I bought these light multigrain, what are they called? <laughs> I'm blinking out. Nooks and crannies, it doesn't even have a name. English muffins, sorry, geez Louise. Oh, there's my nephew, there's my baby, and two pictures of my nephew. Anyway, so English muffins, bread for sandwiches for a you know quick and easy lunch. I also bought this spinach and herb wraps to make uh, for lunch or dinner as well when I want something quick and easy. Baby spinach. Um, sometimes we buy the big container, but lately we haven't been finishing it, so I purchased the small one. I'm super happy that Walmart now has organic produce. It, they've had it for a while, but it's relatively new in the history of Walmart. Also, romaine hearts for salad. This is my favorite. I don't like the um I'm not a fan of the what's it called Come on, just keep going Melissa so we have organic broccoli I didn't buy it frozen because I can just prepare this quickly and freeze it myself it's a little bit cheaper that way um, when it comes to organic of course then we've got lemons I love putting this in water lime I like making Cuban style black beans so that tastes amazing with lime tomatoes for salad and also avocado I'm not a fan of avocado I'm still a little bit of a picky eater my husband likes it but it is something that I should try to get into because as you get older your tastes 
buds do change. I have noticed that for myself because when I was little, I was super, super picky and I've changed a lot now. But um, that's something that I should try to eat because it is really good for you. Green peppers are my favorite pepper, so that's pretty much the only one that I buy because it'll be really the only one that I eat. Organic baby carrots. I wanted the grated ones for the salad, but they didn't have them, so I'm just going to have to grade that myself. But little cuties as a snack. Healthy snack. Organic whole garlic. I cook a lot with garlic, so getting the organic one is good. Um, I didn't see any organic cooking or baking spray, so I just bought these. So I won't be baking anytime soon, but I did want to have it on hand for Thanksgiving, so that way I, it's already there. That's the ice machine. It's already there and I don't have to worry about it. The butter one, uh, maybe once a week or once every two weeks we'll make pancakes or something, so this is good to have. And then when I cook on the stove top or the George Foreman, I like having the olive oil. And this is the organic one. They just didn't have organic of that. So, um, something I like to have with breakfast also is fully cooked Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. And we were out of black pepper, so we got that. I saw this and I thought this was pretty cool for like grinding the meat or really chopping the meat, better said. Uh, I like to make chili a lot and that'll definitely help me sort of chop up the ground turkey. This is the one that I buy from Walmart. They do not sell organic, so I buy just the best one that they have. This is no antibiotics, all vegetarian diet, and no byproducts. So I've been buying this for many years now and it's pretty good. I enjoy it. By Harvest Land and the chicken as well. They're individually wrapped, so got a lot of chicken breasts because we eat chicken every day. And once a week or once every two weeks, we do eat red meat. I'm not a big red meat e eater, but I know that it's okay to have in moderation or once in a while. I also, as you saw, don't buy the one that has a lot of marbling. I know it tastes good but to some people, but I don't, I don't like it when it has a lot of fat. I don't like eating the fat. I'm a texture person and just the texture of the fat just grosses me out. It has since I was a little girl, so I buy leaner cuts and it's healthier for you. Don't, don't nobody need heart disease, right? We don't usually use coffee creamer because we make cafe con leche. We don't drink American coffee, but we love Star Wars stuff. So we saw this today or I saw this several times and I decided to try it out. Maybe add a little splash to my, you know, cafe con leche to give it some espresso chocolate flavor. And yeah, it's Darth Vader, so why not? Anyway, and something new I'm going to try to get into is, that was my phone, sorry, eating just plain Greek yogurt as opposed to the ones with fruits in them because it has less sugar and it's healthier for you. I'm going to buy probably on Amazon some mason jars and make the fruit infused ones myself with the fruits that I already have here at home. And I know that'll be healthier and less sugar. So I like buying these things to add to salad. This one is cranberries and glazed walnuts. So you just sprinkle a little bit of this on the salad and it gives it a nice flavor. I'll kind of show you. This is like sort of my healthy snack section. So I already talked about that. This is Kind Bars with protein. It's called Kind Plus. This is cranberry, almond, and antioxidants with macadamia nuts. And those are really good. I, I read an article online that talked about like the best protein bars and Kind Bars were the best ones. They're just really expensive. So I just buy them every once in a blue moon and I don't really eat them every day. So, you know, it's just a snack every once in a while. Of course, almonds are a very good and healthy snack. They actually have organic ones at my Walmart, which was great. And I bought granola. I like to put granola in my yogurt it just helps with the texture again I'm a texture person I prefer crunchy to like soft and I don't know whatever granola I mean whatever yogurt feels like so I know granola does have a lot of sugar and a lot of people aren't into that but if you eat it in moderation and you're exercising at least five days a week you'll still be able to lose weight eating granola you know and if you have a sweet tooth this is a healthier way to sort of satisfy that craving for sweets. So again, I just put some fruits in my 
uh, regular yogurt and I add a little granola on top, maybe a little bit of honey, and it's bearable for me to eat. Let me put my phone on silent. There we go. And we'll finish up here. There's two. There's one for me and one for my husband because he takes one to work and then I'm left with that one. This is the first time I buy these because they're kind of expensive, these little cheese things. But I wanted to try it out as a snack this week. Um, I figured sometimes I can overdo it with eating cheese. So for me, my thought was, well, because I know this was like, I think like $5 and change. Maybe I'll feel more prone to not eat more than one. <laughs> so I bought those and this is the mozzarella one. So I'm pretty sure it'll be good. I remember eating those in the past. Just it's not something that I buy all the time. And then I love to make sandwiches. So this is ham. Some people say to not buy cold cuts because of the fillers and preservatives that they have. But I don't have a... Whole Foods or Fresh Market or Trader Joe's really anywhere close by me. I wish there was because I would definitely be going there instead of Walmart, but you got to work with what you have, right? And what you can afford too. So I have mozzarella cheese and I like to purchase these spices when I'm in a rush and I don't want to risk it trying to make the seasoning myself. Oftentimes when I make chili myself or tacos or whatever it is, I just, you know, throw all the spices that I have together and I do it myself and it comes out great. But every once in a blue moon, I'll realize, man, I put not enough salt or I put not enough of something and it doesn't really taste right. So I like to have these little packets on hand for when I just can't be bothered to try to like figure it out and play with the spices myself and um, even when I follow recipes online sometimes I feel like they're not seasoned sorry they're not seasoned enough you know I like my things really really seasoned not salted but seasoned so so here we have some Hunt's tomato sauce I use this when I make different beans and when I make chili and like I said before I'm a super picky eater so when I get tomatoes I buy the petite cut tomatoes and they're easier for me to eat like I can't I don't like the texture of biting into like a big hunk of tomato so I buy the petite ones then I have a bunch of red beans for chili and for what I make um like Cuban style red beans but I do them healthier instead of putting ham hock and sausage I just put regular ham and it actually tastes pretty good to be honest refried beans these are the fat free ones i checked the label the nutritional facts and it doesn't have more sugar or more calories or more of anything so it seemed to be a pretty healthy alternative to the regular one and i have the rest of the beans piled up here it's holding up the frozen stuff so let me show you what i have here i saw um walmart has wild orts organic frozen sweet potatoes which this is great. I actually have a lot of fresh sweet potato on hand, but I don't have time to prepare it. So I don't make it. And I think having frozen sweet potato is great. Then this is the last bag they had of mixed veggies. So that's good to have with the chicken. This is mixed fruit. They did not have any organic ones. So I just went with this one. Better than nothing. And then about once a week. No more than once a week. Really, you shouldn't, or I shouldn't, more than once a week, have a cheat meal. Not a cheat day, just a cheat meal. One meal in the day where you just eat something that you're craving, that you really enjoy, maybe satisfy the sweet tooth for, like, dessert or what have you, but that's it. And you, I like doing, I like to ensure that on the day that I cheat, that I have, like, my cheat meal, that I actually exercised. So it's not, um... I guess so it not necessarily helps cancel out, but it doesn't make the cheat any worse. I think if you cheat and you didn't work out that day, it kind of puts you at a disadvantage with, with your goal to lose weight if that's what you're trying to do, you know? Um, so anyway, I say that because one of my favorite things to cheat with is pizza. I love pizza. Pretty much every week what I think about my cheat meal, what I want to get is pizza. 
And when you look at the deals that like Pizza Hut has, you know, like the best thing usually is to buy two medium for $6.99 each and you can get, you know, different flavors and I love having pizza with like Pepsi and it adds up not just ca calorie wise, but also, you know, money wise, you know, it's more expensive. And then you have a bunch of leftover pizza and I hate throwing food away, like I just can't do that, you know? Uh, growing up having my parents and my grandma always tell me there's kids in the world that don't have food you know you have to finish your plate now that I'm a grown-up I'm like uh, that's what I think of I'm like there's kids out there that don't have food to eat like how am I gonna throw away food so anyway what I thought about recently was okay instead of ordering Pizza Hut and having to deal with too many calories leftover food etc 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 I'll just buy the frozen pizzas from the market. I don't know why I never really thought about that before. So, um, I wanted to try this. I had never even seen it before, but it just looks cool. Maybe I'm a sucker for packaging. But it's called Bessie's Revenge, uh, Bessie's Revenge Cheese Scrimming Sicilian Pizza Company. And it's got like chunks of mozzarella. That was really cool, I thought. And it's from Wisconsin, which is like the land of cheese. So this definitely has to be good. And it says it's made with 100% real cheese and you have to keep it frozen. So I'm looking forward to trying that next week. And I wanted to have one more for the following week because they go to the market once every two weeks. Uh, Walmart had Sam's Choice. This one was a little less expensive. This was $4 and change. I think this one was 8 or six dollars and change which is still cheaper than buying pizza you know um from pizza hut so four cheese pizza keep frozen this looks good my mouth just watered let me put this down <laughs> that's the baby stuff behind there so anyway i'm gonna put that in the spare freezer that we have in the garage and that's it that's my sort of healthy walmart food haul and I think it's important to remember, like, if you're the kind of person that either you don't have access to a Whole Foods or one of those stores or Trader Joe's, which I know is more affordable, around you, you can still make healthy decisions and find healthy options at a place like Walmart, which probably has the best prices when it comes to all of their products. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed the haul. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Stay tuned for more vlogs and other videos. Um, as you guys know, I'm on a journey to drop some weight and just get healthy and maintain sort of an active and healthy lifestyle. So if you're interested in watching those kinds of videos for motivation or support for yourself too, then make sure you click the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.